Alright, so today I wanted to share a quick GIMP tip with you, and it's a really simple tip, but it will make your editing life much, much easier if you have yet to discover it. And it is called the Alignment Tool, and it is awesome. But we will start with, let's take the Blend Tool and make an abstract background just for fun. Doesn't mean anything to our project, but it is fun. Okay, now we're going to create two new layers. I know we're just kind of jumping into this, but I'll explain as we go. Two new layers with transparency, same size, 300 by 300. And boom. Okay, select your first layer. Take the paintbrush, and let's make a pepper. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Okay, love the pepper brush. It's just randomly thrown in there. Now, to go to your other new layer and select the circle, 19, and we're going to scale it up a little bit actually. It's a little small. And make sure it's black. Okay, so we have two random elements drawn on an abstract background. That's the setup to our tutorial. You can do something similar, you can leave the background white, whatever you want. Alright, now I will explain the basics of the alignment tool. So let's say we want to align this pepper and this circle in... Let's say we want to align them vertically first on the page. So in the middle of the page, basically. What you want to do, before you do this, I'm sorry, I missed a step. Before you do this, select this layer, go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer, and do the same with this layer. The Alignment will not work unless you do this because it brings the layer's dimensions down to only what you've drawn. And you'll recognize why that is essential here in a bit. Now, select the alignment tool relative to image. What that is saying is that we want what we select to be aligned to the entire image, our entire, in this case, abstract background. Okay? Um, you have to take the alignment tool and click on what you want to align and we will click on the pepper and we want to align it here vertically alright so that's what this little button right here will do align to the middle of the target and boom it's right there in the middle let's do the same with the black circle click on it and align it vertically alright let's say we want this black circle to be in the middle of our image well, it's already aligned vertically, so we simply have to align it horizontally as well. And it's in the middle of our image. We can do the same with our little pepper. And you can't see it, but it's aligned there. I'll go ahead and undo that with Control-Z. Alright, so let me show you a more practical use for this. I'll go ahead and create a new image. Um, I'll bring it down to... 150 by 150 and in your advanced options fill it with transparency okay I'm gonna close out of this don't need it anymore and alright so let's say we want to make an icon or a, or a button okay um Let's go ahead and set it up, and we're going to make a circle, circular button that is black with the text Y in the middle for yes. So create a new layer um, filled with transparency, and you can just duplicate that layer. Oh, I'm sorry, you won't even need this. Just delete that layer. Okay, so on our new layer, let's use the paintbrush tool to create a circle 19 and specify the size you want. I'm going to bring it up to about 4.54. Okay, that looks sort of in the middle, but we are going to use our friendly alignment tool just to make sure, but not before we auto crop the layer. Almost forgot again. I'm still learning too, so I forget things now and then. Alright, select your circle um, relative to the image and align in the center and the middle. 
and it's perfect okay now let's add our text which is going to be the letter Y for yes um, I have the size specified at 48 and the font is sans and I'm going to change the color to gray sorry these windows keep popping out of view changed it to gray alright so I'll add the text just over here somewhere Y alright okay well I had to pause the video because I was messing up moving the layer around but all I did was raise the layer up one step using this arrow which I was trying to do somehow by moving it around anyway alright so we have our Y which we want here and by the way the reason I moved that up is because the Y needs to be on top of the black circle or else obviously it will not show okay take the Y let's use our alignment tool select it relative to the image and align it in the middle so let's have a look and if you were to export that it would be very very simple button but you know it works as a example so that's how that would work um, let me show you something else before we wrap up and I'm going to take this circle and move it over here okay so now if I wanted to move the Y obviously I could take it and try to move it freely which you know if you were a good guesser would might work but if you want to be more precise about it let's choose our alignment tool once again and select our Y now this time we do not want to align it relative to the image like we were doing before because we are not working with the image we are now working with the Y and the black circle only so we want to align the Y relative to the black circle so here we're going to say relative to active layer and make sure you select this as your active layer okay so now if we once again center the Y since we selected active layer it centers it relative to the circle okay so that is the basics of the alignment tool um, it really doesn't get much more advanced than that so you can p play with all the buttons um, you can align it to the right of the image to the left of the sorry to the top of the image to the left of the image and to the bottom of the image that's really as simple as it gets